I'm not having an emotional breakdown right now. Do you think the police should be? Oh, you, you, you want to wait? Because wanna, I'm thinking wanna, of my here daughter. We here we and go. I'm thinking oh, of my daughter. Here it is. I do want to talk to you about abortion. Do you want to do about sure. 10 minutes? We can talk about abortion. Sure. Uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on, on where we're currently at? Like, what do you think we should be doing? What do I think we should be doing? Well, yeah. we should at the very least be establishing, uh, reestablishing Roe v. Wade statutorily. I think the Supreme Court uh, was wrong. And I believe that the uh, Fourth Amendment requires that the federal government make an issue, uh, make a ruling specifically on the issue of abortion. Uh, what, what that becomes, I don't know. But the, the concept of personhood needs to be ruled on one way or the other. So this is not a state issue. Trump is wrong about that. But the personhood uh, should no. I don't believe in uh, in uh, in personhood in you think the, the womb. The, right. So you think the Supreme Court should say no personhood in the womb? Um, definitely. I think the Supreme Court needs to answer one way or the other. Well, I mean, uh, it, it would put some things to rest. I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, um, Trump Trump is saying it should be a state's issue, and I, I believe that is. Absolutely incorrect. No, I think we had uh, an individual right that existed in this country for 50 years and it was rolled back. We've never had anything uh, like that whatsoever. I think it's a, uh, a right that um, uh, that uh, when taken away deprives, uh, you know, people who have babies, uh, their sovereignty over their own body. Uh, and it's both uh, an economic issue and a um, uh, a personal liberty issue. What, do you think there should be restrictions? On abortion? Yeah. I mean, the problem with restrictions, um, like, for instance, we say uh, only in the case of, let's say, a um, uh, danger to a woman, uh, you know, or a woman's life, is that that is extremely difficult to assess where that line is. And we've seen this. Two women have died at least in Texas as a function of uh, the abortion ban that they have there. We also know that infant mortality in the wake of the Texas thing, because there's been studies on this, increased 15% uh, in the wake of the abortion ban there. So um, uh, in general, I would say that restrictions are in practice um, not viable and not doable uh, because you end up costing women their lives. I think that to the extent that I would have restrictions, I think you need a medical provider to provide abortions, you know, in uh, that go past the uh, maybe midway through the second uh, trimester. But, like, do you think that with uh, elective abortion should be available up to nine months? If it's if it is a I think that is the safest route for women uh, if it is done by a medical provider. Yeah. Elective. I, just, I was I asked elective I, to be clear. Elective. Meaning uh, no reason given no medical issues. Just a woman saying, you know what? My, my I've carried this baby for eight and a half months and I've changed my mind. Well, it's a little crass way of putting it. I think some women are going through some serious crises in their lives and they may make a decision that's a bit more than just they've changed their mind. Like, for instance, where a woman is being battered by her, her husband and then she realizes at month six that if she has this kid, he's going to continue to beat and harm the child and she can't stay with him or something. Well, I think, in, you know, like I, I'm not going to assess people's reasons for having an abortion. It's not really my business. But I think that having restrictions ends up costing uh, women's lives. And, um, and so I would on balance, um, uh, not, not have restrictions outside of like, obviously like, uh, you know, particularly as you get further into the pregnancy requirements about, about uh, medical, you know, uh, medical uh, certified medical providers. So uh, let's say, let's say you have a scenario, a woman goes to a Planned Parenthood, six months pregnant, and she just says, I don't want to explain it. I just would like to get an abortion. Is that a, she should be allowed, there should be just medical professionals who say, we're going to do it. We're not going to ask you why. Um, I think, uh, I, I think it's okay to, uh, you know, explore it and get a sense, you know, as you would for any type of like, uh, you know, medical procedure. What does that mean? Like, well, I think that there's, there's an obligation within the context of like ethical, uh, practice of medicine to, uh, not you know. just terminate a baby at six months without reason. Well, no, I, I, I'm not saying that they uh, should adjudicate this, but I don't think that like uh, the, you know, necessarily medical providers are going to be just like, you know, 
hop up here. We'll just do this right now. I mean, I think there are procedures in which they do it, but essentially as long as it's like sort of like, uh, uh, you know, they're following, you know, medical procedures, like, I don't think that somebody can, you know, walk in here at six months and say to you, like, can you get rid of my baby? And you're allowed to do it. No, but like, in a, I'm just asking, like, should there be a time limit, like 16 weeks? I, I, I think that that is, uh, that endangers women too much. So the answer is no, I don't, uh, I, I don't believe so. So, but that would create a circumstance, be it as rare as, you know, it may be, but where there's like an eight month abortion. It's conceivable. I but mean, that, certainly in the eighth or ninth month. I mean, here's the thing: in the eighth or ninth month, you can, uh, the, you may find that the 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 child is going to not be viable. Um, but we're not we're not talking about that. We're talking about elective. Like, I'm, I'm well, specifically trying to ask the, about that. But here's the danger, though. Like, th and this is what I'm talking about: wh why you have women who have died in t in Texas, and there's probably uh, a lot more that not, we're not aware of, is that. Imposing these restrictions is not like there's no there's no like bulb that shows up when you say this child is a uh, hundred percent not viable or that you are your life is a hundred percent not threatened. Like where's the threshold? Is it at twenty percent? If the woman's life is in jeopardy, it's twenty percent. And this is you know a vague you know a doctor doesn't have like a, some meter that they put on the you know the woman and say oh okay your your life is at twenty percent. Uh, no, these are vague uh, uh, determinations. And when you impose these type of restrictions on what invariably happens is women die because in real life, not hypothetical world, in real life, the doctors are afraid of, of crossing a threshold where they could get imprisoned or they could lose their license or, uh, you know, conceivably the woman might too. And so I leave it up to a doctor and the patient. I don't know what constitutes even elective. Like, is it elective if, there's a 20% chance I'm going to die? No. That's not elective. It's not elective. What about 5%? That's not elective. What about 1%? Not elective. Okay. We know that... Uh, elective is usually used to describe... 0.5%. I've decided I don't want the baby anymore. Four, because we know that, you know, there's always a danger of a woman dying in childbirth. And it's not... It's above uh, zero. So where... Oh, come like, on, come on. No. We're trying to be on, reasonable, right? We, no, we, no. we want to solve the problem. We don't want to just say, oh, What's well, What's the problem? Geez. There are conservatives who believe that if the baby is, well, for, for, for many, I don't even believe in IVF because even a fertilized, you know, embryo okay, is what's, life. What's the problem? I understand that there are problem religious people who don't like what I do, world. but what's the problem? The death of a baby. Well, it's, I, I, I would contend that um, we're talking about the death of a fetus. And that's, that's, that, so, so the issue is whether someone determines personhood or not. Is, is, is a legal constitutional question that needs to be answered. For instance, uh, in the Civil War era, they didn't think black people were, were humans who had civil rights. And that's clearly the psych psychotic way to world view the world. But you holding the view that an unborn child is or is not a, a, an individual who holds a view, whether they are or not, is an unanswered question at the Supreme Court level that I believe sooner or later will be answered. I don't, and, and they may make a determination that the unborn are, are persons who are. Uh, uh, what do you rights. think? Man, that's tough. I, I, I tend to be traditionally pro-choice. I think that when you have... Uh, an Do you think baby, there should be restrictions on abortion? 100%. 100%. Uh, what should those restrictions be? Uh, time limit, for, for sure. But I don't know. I'm not smart enough to give you a, a certain amount of time. Well, what, but here's the problem, is that when you, in practice, uh, that time limit ends up uh, killing women. Well, you've got you've got a dying baby or a dying woman, and we're trying to figure out how to save them both. Well, I mean, so one is restrictions one is are if the baby can survive, why kill it? So you're saying so, viability. So, so yeah, viability is is huge, and medical technology is rapidly expanding that. But there's still a lot of questions in how we handle it. So, so my position is that the government can't mandate one person provide their body to another person. However, if if a person uh, provides consent in the initial phase. Now they are they have an obligation for a certain time period. So so if you have sex and you get pregnant, you are obligated to carry that baby to term. Is that what you're saying? I think that uh, I'd be in favor of abortion up to a certain point. Well, but I, what's the I don't understand what the logic is there. Logic is compromise. Oh, so this is just a question of splitting the baby in half, literally. 
not literally splitting the baby in half. It is, can the government tell someone you must provide your body and blood to another person? The and you say they can so the up to a certain point. The questions of consent play a role in whether you allow someone and then have an obligation to them based on the requirement. So, uh, for, for instance, like rape, I, I 100% exception. Um, health of the mother, okay. 100%, 100% so exception. So let's, let's take rape. Yeah. Um, yeah, abor- yeah, the woman can choose. Okay. What establishes rape? When a person does not consent. Okay, how rape is a uh, is a a a criminal term, right? Yes, indeed. So you need to go through the court case. Perhaps. Well, I mean, perhaps. Well, like, can I come in and say I was raped, and that's it? All I need to do is say I was raped. Nope. Okay, so you need there, to have there, a court case. No, I didn't say that either. There would have to be some degree of. Well, you keep telling me what you're not saying, but why don't you just say what you're saying? How do you establish? No, you got to calm down. No, well, how do you establish? What if rape has taken place or not? So there's rape kits, right? And we can check for abrasions. And a woman who was raped certainly would want to get a rape kit done, I, I'd, I'd imagine. Well, okay. First of all, but if you're asking, we know for a fact if you're asking that a lot for, of, hold on. We know for a fact that a lot of women, A, um, don't uh, seek rape kits for whatever reason uh, because they're bad. afraid to. Ra- okay, so if you don't get a rape kit. We have responsibilities to ourselves and to others. And sometimes those choices are very difficult to make. So if just the existence about- of a rape kit uh, will establish that, that rape has happened. Why do we need court cases to establish that rape has happened? I didn't say we did. I said no. Okay, so. So a medical professional who, a professional who assesses that a rape has occurred, I believe, is. What if they go in largely too, too many days uh, after? to get a rape kit. And then there's no evidence of rape taking place? Yeah. And that would be a restriction. Okay. So who makes that adjudication? In if a, if a rape took place? Yeah. The person administering the rape kit. So we would put rape kit people who are administering this and look at the evidence. And do you think it's just like a completely binary? Do you think like, well, can you get a rape kit? Like this person has definitely been raped or this person has definitely not been raped? I think that we're dealing with something... Outside of the simplicity of I can go to court, it takes six months to a year to figure something out, which means there's a compromise. How can we come to the best determination to make sure that women are not lying, which I assume would be exceedingly rare, and we're actually going after the criminals? I do not think it's fair to put the burden on someone to uh, perform an abortion without actually taking the responsibility of yourself and saying, look, victims have responsibilities and it's unfortunate that they're victims, but we're trying our best. So if you so don't, you don't go. Uh, so let's say, for instance, like, um, I mean, I, I, I don't know if you've ever, you know, and spent any time exploring um, the psychological um, and the sort of like social pressures on people to report rape. I mean, but um, you're basically saying that if you don't go and get a rape kit. It's contingent upon the police department to uh, to assess this uh, rape kit. If you go too late, is that who's administering the rape kit? Yeah, it's not a doctor. No, I mean, well, I mean they may have medical uh, things. Well, I, I, I was talking about a doctor. She goes to the doctor. She says, "I've been raped." They do a kit and they say, "Okay." And then she says, "I would not want to have a pregnancy from this." Now, say, do okay. you th- honestly like? Do you know how this works? It's not like it's preponderance of the evidence. I mean, and it's like so you're yeah. basically saying uh, the doctor gets to decide. I am. You don't whether- think doctors should be able to decide to give a woman abortion? No, I think doctors can uh, can decide. Well, I think doctors are uh, responsible. This, for, this, this, but, is a, this is a compromise. I'm pro-choice, but I recognize that we're not going to live in a society where one side's demanding an extreme, the other side's demanding the so other. So you extreme. think the rule should be if you get a, a doctor makes rape the, kit? What if it's what if it's somebody? We're who's talking like, about edge cases. I mean, I don't know 15? why you're getting so much into the edge cases. Well, I mean, I mean, how often does this even happen? How often do people go in and get an abortion at eight and a half months because Many. they feel like it? That's my point. Yeah, very, very few. Right. So why are you bringing it up? Well, because the people who uh, you would uh, create restrictions are going to uh, are, are going to exceedingly cause rare and not even an issue. So then, why would we have any restrictions whatsoever? Because what do you mean? So that eight babies at eight months don't have their lives ended. Well, I mean, what if they? What if there are reasons for it? I that's, mean, that's that's then requiring adjudication. But it's so exceedingly, exceedingly rare. You're arguing an edge case for a, for a dramatic change in policy. Wait, you're. But I'm not. I'm it's saying not a dramatic change of policy. There are, I think, like it's kind of wild states. that I'm like women should be able to ten... get abortions, but you're like, yes, but in these exceedingly rare circumstances, we should remove all restrictions because no, sometimes. Excuse me. I think there's ten states at least. I know you can look this up where there are no restrictions. I agree. Yeah. So it's not. This is not. Uh, this is not some type of like radical change of policy. It exists. No, th- this is recent. 
after the end of Roe v. Wade, these are the restrictions that, that these changes started happening across the board. I mean, I can understand that. You agree with those states removing restrictions? Like I say, yes, because I think but that's the, not Roe v. Wade. That's the end of Roe v. Oh, Wade. I said at least go back to Roe v. Wade. But that didn't Roe v. Wade have a provision on viability? It was an additional case that people don't bring up. That was in the 90s. The Casey. Is that what it was? There was a question about viability and whether or yes. not you can end the, the life. The, of the court, the court, um, well, the court said <clears throat> in Casey, it just changed the uh, the date in which, or uh, I should say the the week in which states could then begin to impose restrictions on that right to get an abortion. Right. Yeah. No, I'm, uh, I, I think uh, these so the, restrictions the, the, end up uh, killing the, over, the overturning of Roe and Casey resulted in states removing restrictions. Correct. Wait, the, I'm sorry, say that again? The overturning of Roe v. Wade created the, the, the legal precedence by which states could begin to remove restrictions. No, no, no. They, they, they could, I think they could have done that prior to that. I think I, I think they could have done that prior to that. So the the the, the question ultimately is, I'm not I, I'm not going to come down as the supreme judge and just say like it must be you know you're, the right is wrong. I say and I've told Republicans this: if I was a woman that got raped and you told me I had to have a baby, I'd blow my brains out. Like there is no fucking way you will tell me that I'm going to by force without my consent give my body to somebody. You are else. telling that um, that woman who got raped. There is some uh, degree of responsibility. You have to uh, announce this. You yes. need to uh, follow certain procedures as a victim of a crime. Yes. And if you yep. don't, we're going to force you to carry that child to term. Yes, 100%. Okay. There, there is a responsibility we have as, as victims of crimes as well. And, and one of the problems we have in this country is that— That's an interesting theory. Well, it's true. Right. If you're if you're a victim and you want accountability and justice, you well, you have what to if to what if what if you make the determination that I don't want to go through what is involved with getting accountability and justice, but I also don't want to carry my rapist child in that scenario. The woman is out of luck, according to you. If you are not willing to take your responsibilities the responsibilities that of, of that the rapist has imposed upon you. Indeed, yes. Okay, so this is what is the, you the, what do you call this? The Rapist and Power Act. I suppose you'd say that liberals have a view that they have no responsibilities at all. That there is there is no. I don't feel like I have a responsibility. I I certainly don't feel that um, if I was. Uh, if I Sam, was someone who could argument. be, I am making an argument. Well, the rapist responsibility act is an emotional nonsense. No, it isn't. It's it's exactly, we're, we're talking about is, a person's responsibility it, to no, society. The, that is exactly what what you're no, suggesting. No, it's drama nonsense. No, it's, it's not it's, drama it's nonsense. Prop clipping. No, it is not. Prop. Yes, you are. Come on, dude. You're not I making don't an give argument. A shit about Make an it. argument. Don't say nonsense. The words argument like rape. is is that what you are suggesting is that, is that a woman who is raped has a responsibility that has been bestowed upon them by the rapist. The rapist has chosen you. This is a, if I shoot you in the face, I have down. caused you a, uh, uh, I have imparted upon you a responsibility. What you're talking about is fascistic. It is Sam, do you think disgusting. that if someone commits a crime against you? And so I'm sorry I said Rape Empowerment Act and tried to do it in a more satirical you're, way. You're, you're, but what you're talking about is Your logic centers are shutting down. And listen, no, no, no. You're getting no, overly no. emotional. No, I'm not. You are you're, not speaking no. logically anymore. No, no, no. What you're when doing a victim is of a crime, when you a person are doing is a what you of a crime, always do. They have you're to file paperwork to get accountability. You're trying to pretend like you can find something in here. But you're it not is talking about the argument anymore. absolutely nonsense. Yes, it is. You are no longer talking about the issue nor the law. Because everybody sees, oh, I am definitely Really talking about it. I, I don't. You're listen. talking about my person. You're doing ad hominems. Hey, you've, no, you've lost it. No, no. Sam, Here's the point. Let's start with you're the law. You're so full of crap. You see, it's here you amazing. go. Amazing. You can't even make an argument anymore, can you? I don't need to because you don't, you everybody don't need to who's watched this. No, no, no. Everybody who's watched this knows He's that watching, you're, you have an emotional you're saying on that a rape victim has yeah. a responsibility that has been bestowed upon them by the rapist. It's gross. It's disgusting. You are, you are having an emotional breakdown right now. I'm not having an emotional breakdown right now. Do you think the police I'm getting should be? Oh, you, want, you, want, you want to wait? Because wanna, I'm thinking wanna, of my daughter. Here we go. Here we and I'm go. thinking oh, of my daughter. Here it is. 
And I'm thinking of the idea oh, that a Sam. rapist could force Sam. her to do something. Sam. That you're spiraling. No, no, you're I'm spiraling. Not no. You're spiraling. Tim, you're not you're even stopping talking because you just you're not found even out. stopping talking. You never you're gonna, think you're gonna, you're gonna, anything you're gonna, that you're gonna, say. We're gonna say something. You're you're gonna, we're gonna talk, or you're gonna keep just talking about nonsense you in front of all of your. Are you audience? gonna wait for your prop the clipping? Rapist your prop clipping, Sam. Act. Your prop clipping. I don't even know what that means. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Your prop clipping again. What is prop clipping? You're not arguing abortion anymore. What is prop clipping? You said, Tim, you're full of crap. You're not arguing abortion anymore. Because you disgust me. Oh, rape, rape, blah, blah. You're, you, you stopped you're arguing. You're saying you that You stopped arguing and you started doing performative garbage for the camera. No, I'm you not. Wanna have an, you want to have a discussion, Sam? Dude, the best wanna, part of this have a discussion, was or you're tying keep you in knots about the idea a that a rapist can force See, a woman. Here you go again. Go in, here you go again. You're making things up. I'm reiterating. You're prop clipping. I am reiterating. You're prop clipping. I am Sam, reiterating you just, your You're getting overly emotional. You're getting heated. You're finger pointing. You're 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 throwing slurs and, and name calling. You're it's full a of, slur. Well, I, I forgive me. You're so full of crap. You disgust me. But that's not an honestly. Argument. You want to have I a gotta discussion? I got to be honest with you. You want to have a discussion? Or you're gonna have an emotional breakdown. You know what? I am gonna continue with the uh, so-called emotional breakdown because honestly, <laughs> I think that's, that's right. Sam. No, I honestly, I honestly. Let's solve our problems by Sam I just honestly, freaking out and having emotional breakdowns on camera. I honestly think that like on, what you Sam. do is so damaging. Oh no! And this Here he goes. whole notion that you, broke. you would allow it took two hours and forty race. minutes for you to break. Yeah, you this broke. whole no, Sam. Why are you, st- you keeping broke. me from talking? Because you haven't if let you me talk I'm, one time. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Victims of crimes who want accountability have responsibilities. What if they don't want accountability? What if they don't want to put themselves on the stand and have to point out get that guy? Okay, but they have That's to it. carry the baby, right? According to you. If they don't want accountability, then this is a... Then they have reality. to carry the baby. This is, this is reality. Say it. A, a woman... Say it. If they I, I don't say it want accountability, I can say they have 100%. to carry that rapist baby. If a woman does not want accountability for her rape, she will carry that baby. She has to. She has to, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, up to 15 weeks. That's the prop clip I want right up there. Up to 15 weeks. I mean, I think we have come to an agreement. That women can get abortions if they're so choosing without any restrictions up to a certain amount of time. And then after viability would have to- They don't want the, to pursue their rapists in, public, uh, in a public setting. And they don't want to go I through never said that. that. Sam, you're having an emotional breakdown. You've stopped listening to what's being said. You started getting angry, insulting. You're disgusting. How dare you? This is, and you know what? You don't what? think and saying you, Sam, to me, let me that tell you. you're prop clipping. I'm, I don't I'm, know what that means, but. So, it so like. it's when you stopped arguing abortion, finger pointing and waving your hands and saying, I tied you in knots in front of the camera. Yes. And this is why people don't invite you on their show. I don't give a shit. I know. I'll tell you something. That's why this, you don't get invited on shows. No, I you don't, don't care. care. I know you don't care. I'm not saying I you do. I don't care. I, honestly, like, this is... You start the show off, like, I don't want to talk politics. I want to talk about how you said mean things about me before. Oh, yeah. I wanted to get that. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, your WWE politics. No, no. Listen. Listen, we're talking about how do we effectively have law and abortion? That should be. A woman can do whatever she wants up to 15, 16 weeks, maybe even 22. I don't know what the time limit is. But if the baby is viable, just, there just, has to be accountability. None of what you're saying is meaning, meaningful at all. What, what, that there should be a time restriction on 15, 22. You're just throwing around numbers because there's a, there's a debate on how long that duration should be. But my position is that pre viability, I don't know in the, some say 22, some say 26. And my addressing you is that the Getting restrictions are you're pushing, and you're disgusting and the emotional breakdown. Yeah. My emotional breakdown to you is that when you put these restrictions on, uh, on women, they in practice are impossible to actually uh, execute. And you have shown that by saying that if a woman refuses to go in front of a court- I never said if that. A, this is what I said, Sam. For the if love it of doesn't all take holy. accountability, what does Sam, accountability mean? A rape kit. Okay, so if a rape kit- You're saying I was raped with no proof and no evidence and therefore they've I should got to terminate a six month They've got to go in within 24 to 36 hours and say to a doctor, I was raped. And if they don't do that, then they're forced to carry the rapist baby. Depending on what you want to happen in society, there are things you have to do. Sometimes you may not want to have to do them, but this idea you have that people, what you're proposing is that the state should be able to enforce crimes against people without evidence. What? You want accountability. But you do not want to I go don't want the- accountability. I just don't want this woman to have to carry a rapist baby. Right. So this is very fifth grade, right? There is a legal system that exists 
We have to work within a legal system because we have compromises and a social contract with other people. The idea that I can take action against another person without proper adjudication is fascistic. What we have to do is figure out what are the terms for each individual circumstance. Who's the other person you're talking about? So we're the baby. Oh, so you at six you, months. You consider a baby a person at six months. Viability. Let me ask you this. If, well, I, I consider a baby a person uh, the whole time. A fetus, I, the, uh, the, uh, uh, a person the whole time. Begins but the life have, begins at conception. But the state doesn't have— Life begins at conception. But Yes, but the state doesn't you have— You believe the, that in the context of immigration? But the state doesn't have the authority to tell a person when they must give their body to another person. There's arguments over consent, in which case rape is an exception— However, I'm, I'm pro-choice. <laughs> okay. So what we're talking about now, because, you know, make sure you include this in the context, and I'm glad you're here, I can say it to you, is a woman up to pre-viability, in my opinion, should be allowed to get an abortion if she so chooses because of the, the impossibility of properly adjudicating anything in between. I think that's where, when I say you're having a breakdown, it's because I don't think you're listening to what I'm saying. After viability, we're talking about extenuating circumstances where a baby that could survive on its own there's now an issue there where the question becomes, why kill the baby? If we're talking about a period where we're not sure the baby's viable or not, we're, we're wondering why the woman carried the baby this long. The, 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 the issue is not so black and white for you to just say. Well, that, you're saying this is about viability, not not term, time limit. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm, I'm. You keep vacillating back and forth. You, I mean, maybe you don't realize this, but so, there's completely if you can't understand, I'll explain inconsistent it to you. Uh, with, it, what, with what, what you're what saying. What week is viability? What week is viability? Yes. I mean, I think there's some debate about that. Agreed. My point is, I don't know the point at which we as a society will determine it's going to be 16 or 22 or 26. I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a scientist or a medical doctor. I agree. There's an issue where if the baby can survive on its own, there's no reason to kill it. Well, uh, I mean. Would you be in favor of uh, a woman getting a C-section in uh, four or five months just because they, she doesn't want to carry the baby anymore? If the baby can survive on its own, my position is typically the woman can make that choice as long as the baby's not being killed. But, you know, so you know how they perform abortions at, after that point? How they perform abortions after what? Like, like there's varying degrees of how abortions are performed. So yes. the, que the, the question I have is this. Let, let, let me put it this way. You know, like di dilation and extraction. Are you talking about yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of like, my, my, yes. my position largely is we've got two real distinct worldviews on this one that are extreme ends. They, d they neither agrees with each other. And I'm trying to navigate in between to get people to be like, look, there's got to be some standard. Dude, these are the the ideas behind uh, anti-abortion are primarily religious fundamentalism. And it is about maintaining a gender hierarchy. And the idea that you can negotiate, you're basically taking Hillary Clinton's position from 2004. Probably. And um, it is, um, it doesn't work that way. The fundamentalists who are pushing uh, this ideology, and it's largely fundamentalists, uh, and, it, and it, if not directly, certainly uh, downstream from a religious fundamentalism, they're not interested in your compromise. Uh, it is, and, and, and the proof of it is... Not interested in yours. The, in, I'm not compromising. The and proof of it they. is after 50, after 50 years, there was a compromise. It was Casey, exactly what you're talking about, which is why when you asked me at the beginning, I said, at the very least, go back to Roe v. Wade and, and maintain those protections. But that equilibrium was not enough for the right-wing Republican Party. And so, therefore, that's where we're at now. That's the end of story. And now we there have was states a, with there no was, restrictions, and we have states with absolute restrictions. There was a compromise, mm -hmm. and the right wing in this country did not want it. That's it. The That's why well, this is a and, and this, this is, is why a debate. And you have an individual right that has cost the lives of of multiple women uh, across the country. It is increased infant mortality, like I said, at least in Texas by fifteen percent, and it's. Uh, I think it also. And I think it's much harder to to measure this, but it subjugates women in this country uh, because it basically says you have less rights to have uh, bodily autonomy. And that's just the the beginning. Yeah, I agree with that one. Yeah. If, if uh, 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 as I stated, if I was a woman and I was raped and I was forced to carry the baby, I'd blow my brains out. 
And so that's why I say up to a certain point, I'm pro-choice. I mean, to a certain time period, because I agree after the baby is can live on its own. I don't understand why you kill it. If there was a way to have the type of restrictions you're talking and have a, a child be uh, viable, uh, you know, outside uh, of the womb and all of this. But in reality, that's not the way it works. These things don't work that the way that you're talking about the rape uh, exceptions. And the, you're going uh, uh, the... to be, to be fair. This this issue is the razor's edge. There's no middle. It's it's one side or the other. It, it has to be in the way that it is in practice. And and frankly, but these are religious fundamentalists, and uh, they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop with uh, abortion. Uh, they will come for IVF. Of course, they will. I, uh, I I would also make the argument that I don't think the left will stop with their ideology either. Both are going to. I think. I mean, listen. Um, you ju- you started this by saying Obama didn't even uh, in uh, in 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 case uh, Roe v. Wade in statute. I mean, the well, left. He, he, this he was my, my issue with that was this, uh, Democrats and Republicans left, both will argue they're for something, but then the use left, it as a wedge issue. The left was um, essentially, as a political matter, um, was fine with Roe v. Wade and Casey, for that matter. I mean, to the extent that there was any talk about uh, abortion rights um, uh, amongst Democrats and the left, it was to lock it in because the right is coming for this right. And they and, and they have now done it. So, I mean, this the false equivalency you're making here is just is literally that what false. false equivalency. Well, the idea that the left is pushing this agenda beyond. No, what's happening is I'm talking there, was, about the general. there was a compromise. The, the right's got their agenda items left as their agenda items. They're, I guess they're both pushing them endlessly. Well, I mean, everybody's are political animals and they want, uh, you know, they have their program. Right. So for which, society. Which, is, which is me agreeing with People, you. You say Republicans won't stop. And I say I agree on the issues the left cares about. They won't stop either. Well, that, that's true. And I yeah. think, you know, people make so, a determination so, whether they want a religious fundamentalist party to dictate their lives or not. Or an ideological fundamentalist party. Well, no, the fundamentalism is an ideology as well. It just happens to be born in, in religion you, and f- religious fundamentalism. Thanks for watching this clip from the Culture War podcast. We're live every Friday, 10 a.m. to noon. So subscribe and come hang out.